Today we're looking at Ruby on Rails, which is a framework to build web applications with Ruby. Now, as you can see, a bunch of folks use it. So uh, I thought we can take a little look at how we can use Ruby on Rails with Superbase. Now, the great thing is uh, here, you know, you might have heard of Active Records. Active Records, kind of the ORM built into uh, Ruby on Rails. And um, here you can also uh, manage your migrations and um, such. So you don't have to um, write SQL yourself, but it just generates kind of the, the SQL queries for you. So let's have a look at what this looks like with a little getting started guide here. Now, you will need to have some things Ruby, you won't need um, SQL Lite, because we'll be using Postgres, of course, with Superbase. Um, but yeah, you need to check that your Ruby version is above 2.7. Uh, currently, as of recording this video, it is the stable version is 3.3.0. So that's what I'm using. Uh, and then you just need to make sure that you have um, Rails installed. So you can verify that by running Rails uh, dash dash version. And then let's start by creating kind of, um, you know, just following along this uh, little guide here. So let's say Rails new block. Uh, in our case, we say Rails new solid super Rails. And then we need to provide the um, database flag. That's just the hyphen D here. And then we'll say PostgreSQL. Uh, and then we're getting our application scaffolded out and with the configuration for um, kind of Postgres and everything. So that it will be very easy to connect it to Superbase. So let's go into our um, super hyphen rails and open this up in VS code. Now let's just quickly do an initial commit here to clean that up a bit and see kind of what's happening. And then yes, here's so the database folder. So this is later when we're, you know, kind of generating new objects, then our migrations are created in here. And then in config, we have the database configuration. So you can see you already have the PostgreSQL adapter specified, actually specify um, the database URL. So you can see that here. Um, so rather than specifying kind of all the different uh, bits and pieces, we can actually just say uh, database URL and then um, Rails will automatically pick that up. So let's export database URL as an um, environment variable here. And we can go if we don't have a Superbase project yet, we can go to database.new. Let's select my Thor web dev org here. I'll just say Rails. And then let's um, generate a password. And we need to make sure to copy our password, maybe save it somewhere in um, a password manager or something. And then I'm in Singapore. So I'll just create my project here. So I'll just um, save my database password here in an um, .env file so that I uh, don't forget it. And then here, I'll also construct my database URL. And so now our supervised project is spun up here. So we can go to the project settings database. Um, and you can see here we have kind of the different connection strings. Uh, since it's a database URL, we just need to grab this URI here. And then we need to fill in our database password. Now, if you didn't remember to save your database password, you can just uh, reset the database password here. But otherwise, we'll just put it in here as the database password. Let's give that a save. And then um, so we can use it in the console here, we'll export it as an environment variable. Let's just quickly make sure that that was all good. Echo database URL. Yep, there it is. Uh, and so now what we can do is we can um, continue along. So, you know, you can dig kind of into this. Um, yeah, the Rails server, I mean, we can start up our application here. Then we can take a look at it. And so 
this is just kind of the standard uh, application here, Rails version 7.1.2, great. Uh, and now we can actually see that there was some tables being created on our database here, some uh, metadata and um, schema migrations currently uh, empty. So let's um, skip ahead to the generating a model part. So this is where we're actually uh, interacting with our database. So we can use this here. Uh, let's stop the server to um, generate a new model. And what you can see now is that we're actually uh, creating uh, a database migration here. So in database migrate, we now have um, active record migration, uh, create table articles. Um, and so we can now run this uh, migration by using db migrate. So if we run this here, we can now see, okay, create table articles. And now we can see if we go um, here, now we have our uh, articles table created. And if we look at schema migrations, we can now see um, here, I believe that's the timestamp of um, that migration we ran. And now we have our uh, articles table here. And so one thing that's pretty cool with um, Rails as well, we can uh, interact with our um, database using the Rails console. So let's maybe uh, start the console up here. Uh, and so now we can, for example, here, create a new article. So currently, um, that article just kind of exists in this console session here. But now what we can say is article dot safe. And so in this case, then it actually generates the the SQL to insert the article um, into our table. So if we go back, um, we can now see we have um, our articles here created at updated at um, and you know, vice versa, if we're creating uh, one here, let's just select um, this and that, and then say maybe hello from Superbase. And I would just say hello, maybe a little wave emoji. And there we are, give that a save. Uh, and so now, uh, as well here, you know, this is our uh, article model, uh, we can now say, uh, I believe all, and then we get all our articles listed here. So yeah, this is how easy it is to um, get up and running with our, you know, Superbase database and Ruby on Rails. Uh, again, really, the only thing we need is this um, database URL. So um, again, the database URL environment variable, uh, we just need to export that. And again, we can find that in our project settings on the database and here in the connection string, the URI. So that's what you need, just the connection string and your password, and you're good to go with your Ruby on Rails application on Superbase. I hope this was useful and let us know if there's any other frameworks or uh, things that you would like to learn and we can take a look. See you next time. Bye-bye.